It is the biggest game, football game in UNLV history. Number 20 UNLV taking on number 10 Boise State in the rematch of the 2023 Mountain West Championship. We have team coverage for you. Fox 5 Sports reporter Mariah Jano says live where fans will gather to watch the matchup on the big screen. But first, to get us ready for tonight's historic matchup, let's check in with Fox 5's Paloma Villacana, who is live from Boise. <laughs> it's a chilly game day here in Boise, Idaho. UNLV football and Boise State both out on the field behind me warming up. The stakes have never been higher. This Mountain West Championship winner of tonight's game wins the championship and receives a spot in the 12 team college football playoff. UNLV has worked so hard this season. 10 wins for the first time in 40 years. These guys have a chip on their shoulder losing to Boise State last year in the 2023 Mountain West championship game. They fell in a short game to Boise State earlier this season, 29 to 24. So Jackson Woodard, all the leaders on this football team have a job to do tonight, and that is to win the Mountain West championship and receive a spot in the 12 team playoff. Here's what Barry Odom and Jackson Woodard has to say about the 25 degree weather today in Boise. It'll it'll be perfect uh, weather for UNLV Rebels. That's the way you got to approach it. If you look at it any differently, then then you're letting something that you have no control over mess with your emotions, and you can't do that. And great competitors, they don't care. We can go out and play in the parking lot, and it doesn't matter. It is, you've got to, as long as you prepare the right way, then the elements, uh, it's distraction control. No, we talk about habits all the time. Yeah. Why change it when it's cold? You know, we'll, I mean, keep our routines. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't really believe in that too much. You know, I, I'm going to do the same thing that I do every game. Uh, if if you think it's cold, then I think you take your shirt off and, and you know, make it seem like it's cold. But and, you know. A few of the Boise State players already have their shirt off here pregame. Uh, I'm wearing tons of layers because it is 25 degrees here, getting ready for a 5 p.m. kickoff in the Mountain West Championship. And we have more UNLV football coverage ahead in this 3 o'clock show. We have Hodge Malik Williams speaking about how important this season has been to him, how special it has been to have his mom in the stands at every single game this season. UNLV on a mission to make history tonight. And it's just getting started. We'll share more from Boise, Idaho, coming up on Fox 5. All right, thank you, Paloma. Now let's check in with Mariah Janos over at UNLV's dining comments for tonight's watch party. Hey, Alexis. Yes, we are here at the Dining Commons at UNLV. And as you can see behind me, there is a monitor here with the stage is set. There are monitors all around the dining hall at this moment that will be broadcasting the game. And as we know, it's a five o'clock tip off. So it's perfect time for students who want to come in for dinner like they do every single day. They get to be in tune with what is going on in the Mountain West Championship game. It will also be broadcast over the speakers from the radio broadcast. So whether you're just walking in, swiping your dining card in line to get your food or sitting at a table you will know what is going on in this game as hopefully UNLV will be on the brink of something extremely historic this season but I did want to just mention as we've been talking about all day this has been a day of remembrance and for this game to be played here today on this campus when just a year ago it was filled with such tragedy and sorrow and for it to be kind of normal here today and for those students who may reflect on those days with such heavy emotions, this can serve as a great distraction for them. And it's just another example of how sports really can bring people together, especially in this community here. So it really has been incredible to see just that vibe switch up and it be very light and airy here and everyone just really excited to cheer on the Rebels. But for now, I'll send it back to you in studio, Alexis. All right, thank you so much, Mariah. And we, of course, will be checking with you throughout the evening. And again, you can watch the Rebels take on number 10 Boise State right here on Fox 5. Our coverage begins at 4 o'clock.